Hello and welcome to my 2023 review of Inkscape. I have used the program in the past, uh, had some issues with it. Other people keep saying that it's it's great. Yeah, use Inkscape. It does your vector graphics stuff for you. So uh, today I'm going to try it again. Um, a little background information about what I'm trying to do here. Basically, I just need cover art for songs. Um, and I have this kind of convention that I use sometimes where I just make this black box and put some text over it and some gobbledygook because it's kind of just a generic like this is the Togo style cover art you see that cover art you know it's Togo's you know the the actual imagery doesn't matter too much I mean I could make it cool but I don't have to it, it, it's just something to slap on the tracks and have them look like mine right um, and so I want to do this using SVG files um, <clears throat> I can use Batik. Batik has a it, it, it's a, it's a Java-based offline renderer, um, and it's it's really it's supposed to. It was originally I think it was like one of the early SVG uh, implementations, so it's supposed to have all the stuff in there. Uh, in practice, it doesn't. Um, I had, I had to take out some things in my SVG, change them around, because like it didn't support uh, putting text uh, right in the middle. Uh, what is this? I forget what it's called, like baseline. You can change the baseline, and Batek doesn't support that. Also, if you notice here, I, I use this custom font, which I, I really like this font. I think it's called Prototype, but Batek, the, it completely screws up the kerning. Look at this. This is supposed to be right next to each other. Now let's look at how this looks in Firefox. In Firefox, it looks great. Um, perfect. It, it, this is exactly how I want this to look. Unfortunately, how do you get it out of Firefox? Because uh, if you say take screenshot, well, you can't see it's because it's on the, my other desktop, but it says we can't screenshot this page because it's not a regular web page. So wouldn't that be great if I could just screenshot the SVG as it appears in Firefox? But no, for some reason you can't do that. So I'm like, well, what other programs are there that can deal with SVG files and should be able to do this kind of thing, right? Well, oh yeah, good old In Inkscape. So I went ahead, I did a Choco install Inkscape. All right, it installed it. Um, so let's see what happens here. Inkscape, load it up. That was on my other monitor, sorry, you didn't get to see me. Uh, all right, here it is. So <clears throat> let's set up. I already did this. I've run this before. I, I already went through this. I don't know why it keeps showing me this screen. Apparently, I have to hit save again. First time I said dark checkerboard. Yeah, all right. Keyboard. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Appearance. I want compact. It didn't really make it very much more compact, but oh, whatever. All right, save. Uh, just how do I open my file? All right. So I have, where is my file? It's D, uh, archive. So I had this up, archives, music. Yeah, no, no, that's not where it is. It's in Togos Music Metadata. <sighs> music, work, or no, Togo, there we go. All right, sorry. It didn't. I had this window open earlier, I inadvertently closed it at some point. So here's the SVG file that I want to load. So let's drag this into Inkscape. Let's drag this into Inkscape. Drag this into... All right. I guess I have to click load and go find it. So I normally do, copy this. Hello? Okay, I can't paste the directory in here, but I can, maybe I can paste it in here. All right, here we go. So, load. Where'd it go? Where the hell did it go? Did it crash? I think it crashed. All right, well, this concludes my review of Inkscape. It's not very good. It never was good, and it still sucks as much as it ever did. I do not recommend it. Um, thanks for watching.
Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and support me on Patreon. Goodbye.